some news for you. Fembots have feelings too. As I was walking around the other day, I kept running into these billboard ads that say, are you bought or not for Svedka Vodka? And as a part of this larger ad campaign that they have, some of the other ones say things like, make your next trophy wife 100% titanium, or turn on stiff drinks and greased elbows. I was looking around the Svedka Vodka website and I noticed that they have this bot builder where you can create your perfect silicone clone ready and willing to serve. Or you can turn yourself from hot to bot. And it gets even more disturbing when you get inside the program because you have all these options of clothing choices and one of which is a French maid outfit and you can have your new French maid pose in these cute or sexy model poses and in addition you can give her martini hands so she can serve you drinks at your whim. Let's talk about fembots for a second then because in popular culture and historically fembots are the ultimate misogynistic male fantasy. They're a mythic construct used to serve male desires. These fembots are sex slaves and sex objects ready and willing to serve and clean up after these men. So is she the accessory to the razor, or is the razor the accessory to her? Hmm. Don't really know, but what I do know is that her whole reason for being is to serve this man. Wait, so her uterus is a keg ready to serve beer on demand? I think Advertising Age actually covered it best, which is kind of surprising, when they said that the Heineken Drought Keg is arguably the most sexist beer commercial ever produced, which is quite a large statement considering beer commercials are pretty sexist. They went on to say that these commercials reduced half of the world to a man servicing beer tap. Why do advertisers love to use these images that reduce all that women are into plastic, homemaking, obedient sex slaves who don't talk back? In fact, they don't talk at all, and they even have an on and off switch. Advertisers are tapping into a core element of patriarchy, which is the obsession with control. Author of The Gender Knot, Alan Johnson, says, As with any system of privilege that elevates one group by oppressing another, control is an essential element of patriarchy. Men maintain their privilege by controlling women and anyone else who might threaten it. The fembot fantasy is an expression of total control, especially over women, and these commercials are selling men this fantasy of control associated with their product. I love science fiction, and what I love most about it is this opportunity to imagine alternative societies and futuristic technologies that can improve our way of life and really be used as a tool for liberation. But what these commercials are doing is taking this imaginary futuristic world and making it a tool of subordination and oppression. It's the Fembot, new from Kenner. And Jamie Summers, the bionic woman, sold separately. I'm Jamie Summers. Oh, no, you're not. I am. You're a Fembot. Your paralyzer gave you away. She's a masked me. Now I have to disguise myself as a mystery baby. No one will recognize me. Not even Jamie. Ha ha. Fembot comes with everything seen here. Jamie Summers, the bionic woman, sold separately.